Hello and welcome to Fun Bikes TV. My name is James and today we're going to be building the Bambino Mini Quad. To start off with, cut the tape on your box and then open the box up to get access to the vehicle. As well as your vehicle in the box, you will also find at the rear of the vehicle your charger and nut and bolt kit. We are now going to attach the handlebars to the vehicle. For this you will need the 5 Allen key and a 10 spanner. You will find there are 4 bolts in the maintenance kit with nuts on the end of them and your handlebar clamp. Remove all the nuts from the end of the bolts. Locate your handlebars into the handlebar clamp. Placing your clamp over the top and then place one of the bolts through and attach the nut on the bottom of it. Repeat the process on all four bolts. And then align the handlebars into the correct position. They want to be at the same angle as the steering column on the vehicle. Once you are happy with the angle, fully tighten all four bolts using the 5 Allen key and 10 spanner. Once they are tight, apply a small quantity of stud lock to the end of all the threads. We're now going to make sure everything on the front end of the quad is tight. Using a 6 Allen key and a 13 spanner, tighten the outer track rod end. Then using a 13 and 17 spanner or socket combination, make sure the front stub axle is tight. Using a 13 and 14 spanner, move on to the steering bar. Repeat the process on the opposite side of the quad. We're now going to tighten the inner track quad end using a 6 Allen key and 13 spanner. Then apply stud lock to all the bolts we have just checked. We're now going to tighten the bolt on the bottom of the steering column using a 17 socket and applying a small quantity of stud lock to the end of the threads. Using a 19 socket, make sure the front wheels are tight, applying a small quantity of stud lock to the end of the threads. Using a 6 Allen key, make sure the rear wheel is tight. Then check all the plastic bolts on the vehicle using 5 Allen key and 10 spanner. Repeat the process on the opposite side of the quad. Using the 5 Allen key, make sure the rear brake caliper is tight. Then using the 5 Allen key and 10 span and make sure the rear hubs are tight on the vehicle. Tighten all three disc bolts using the 5 Allen key. Check the hub carrier on the opposite side using the 5 and 10 Allen key again. Make sure the bolts underneath the back of the seat are tight using the 5 Allen key.
and the upper and lower shock bolts are tight using two 5 Allen keys. Make sure all four engine mount bolts are tight using a 5 Allen key. We're now going to set the tracking on the vehicle using a 13 spanner, loosen the nuts against the track rod ends. Make sure the steering is straight on the quad. While holding the steering wheel and hand rotate the track rod around to adjust the tracking on the vehicle, making sure that while the steering is straight, the front wheels are in a straight line. Once you're happy with this, double check the steering is still straight and then holding the inner part of the track rod, wind the nuts back against the track rod ends and tighten with a 13 spanner. We've now fully nut and bolt checked our quad and are ready to put it on charge. Remove the charger from the box, unravel the cable and connect the charger to the mains and then plug it into the vehicle. When you plug the charger into the vehicle, it will be green for a few seconds and then turn to red to show that it is charging. Leave the quad on charge for 14 hours before you use it for the first time. And that's how you build your new vehicle. I hope you found this guide useful. Now let the fun begin.